Let's rig a mechanical arm in Blender. We already have our mechanical arm model. Move the 3D cursor where you want to start the first bone, then add a single bone from the Add menu. For convenience, enable, in front, from the armature properties, this will make the bone visible through the mesh. Now go to edit mode, resize the bone if needed, and extrude it to match each part of the arm. Go back to object mode, select one part of the arm, then select the armature. Switch to pose mode, select the bone that corresponds to that part, press Ctrl plus P, and choose bone. This will parent the object directly to the selected bone. Repeat this process for all the parts of the arm. Once done, try rotating the bones to test the rig. Each part should move properly with its bone. Now we'll control the entire arm from the wrist. Move the 3D cursor to the wrist and add an empty sphere. Scale it down if needed. Select the armature, go to pose mode, select the wrist bone, and add an inverse kinematics, IK, constraint. Choose the empty sphere as the target. Now, go back to object mode, select the empty, and move it to see the effect, the arm follows smoothly. However, you might notice unwanted rotation in some directions. To fix this, set location limits for the empty sphere. For example, set the minimum x to 1, y to 0, and z to 1. Now, no matter how you move it, the arm will stay in a stable range without twisting incorrectly. And that's how you can easily rig and control a mechanical arm in Blender.